A look at the Structural Heart Disease Department. Altman Dubel Heart and Vascular Hospital's Structural Heart Disease Department was established in late 2016, and the first procedure was completed on December 14, 2016. Structural heart disease is an area of cardiology that treats a defect or abnormality of the heart that is non-coronary, meaning that it does not affect the blood vessels in the heart. Many structural heart conditions are congenital or present at birth, but some of these abnormalities can also form later in life due to wear and tear from aging or infection. They may also result from another underlying condition. The core structural heart disease department is made up of four physicians. Two are interventional cardiologists and two are electrophysiologists. The department also includes one nurse practitioner and one RN coordinator. As a group, the Structural Heart Department collaborates with all areas of ADHVH, including echocardiography, CVOR, invasive heart lab, radiology, cardiac anesthesia, cardiothoracic surgery, and the cardiovascular consultant's office. It is truly an all hands on deck approach for caring for patients. The Structural Heart Disease Department offers minimally invasive procedures to correct problems that traditionally would have called for open heart surgery. This includes transcatheter aortic valve replacement, or TAVR, left atrial appendage occlusion, mitral valve clipping, closure of patent foramen ovale, closure of atrial septal defect, and balloon aortic or mitral valvuloplasty. Transcatheter aortic valve replacement, or TAVR, is a minimally invasive valve replacement for patients with severe aortic stenosis. Historically, this diagnosis meant open heart surgery to replace the valve. The TAVR procedure involves crimping a bioprosthetic or tissue valve onto a catheter which is threaded through an artery in the groin up to the heart. Left atrial appendage occlusion is a procedure to close the left atrial appendage which is a small pocket at the top left side of the heart. During this procedure, a small device called a watchman device is placed in the left atrial appendage via a small catheter threaded through a vein in the groin. Mitral valve clipping is a minimally invasive procedure to repair a leaking mitral valve in patients who are high risk for open heart surgery. A small clip, about the size of a dime, is used to hold the leaking part of the valve together while the rest of the valve continues to function normally. Similar to other procedures, it is done with a small catheter through a vein in the leg and most patients are discharged home the following day. The foramen ovale is a small hole located between the top two chambers of the heart. The repair is done through a fairly low risk same-day procedure in which a small device with two discs is inserted through a vein in the leg and sandwiches the hole closed. Most patients are discharged home the same day. With these minimally invasive procedures, the Structural Heart Department is able to send people home in as little as a day and reduce their recovery time significantly, meaning most patients can resume their normal activities in seven to 10 days. Thanks for watching this closer look at the Structural Heart Disease Department and the services they offer.